Mm. Mm. Oh, good evening. Sir Billiam Megalodon III here. And I regret to inform you that some black guy is no longer with us. Why, you might say? Because I ate him. Now you're probably wondering why I ate this fine young gentleman, or what you thought was a fine young gentleman. It's because he and two other ruffians were a part of a podcast called The Snot Tank, and I just could not stand it. It's bad enough that there's already a show called The Snot Tank, and then now there's a podcast called The Snot Tank? Puppycock. So I devoured him whole. But I am a true gentleman, and I gave him some last words, final wishes, if you will. And he said, will you please play the bonus trash from the Twitter trash that he just did last week or so on and so forth, whatever he was saying. He was kind of screaming it while I was munching on him. But he also asked me, could you please do the sponsors as well? And I said, yes, your wish is granted. So without further ado, this video is sponsored by Raycon. Here in my hand, I have the Everyday E25s from Raycon. And I was wearing them while I was devouring some black guy. Now here's a fun fact, Raycon was founded by Ray J. Yes, the Ray J. And they are backed by people like Mike Tyson and Snoop Dogg, so you can highly trust them. Upon further inspection, I must say that I rather fancy these headphones. They look amazing and they have this nice little compact case that is delightful. The Everyday E25s are the best model yet. They're half the price of any of the other well-known brands. They have six hours of playtime, seamless Bluetooth pairing, more bass, which is very important for me, and a more compact design that gives you a nice noise isolating fit. So go to buyraycon.com slash SBG to get 15% off of your order. That is buyraycon.com slash SBG. The link will be in the description below. And now, ladies and gentlemen, without further ado, let us watch some bonus trash. Supreme victory! Okay. You're like a grandparent, bro, <laughs> with yeah. your fucking glass. Let me get my reading lenses on. Fuck, I still can't see the time. Does it say 12? <laughs> yeah. Okay. He recently posted a photo with a gentleman, and I'm like, oh. Oh. That's his, that's his mate. I was like, oh, yeah, that, that, that's his dude. That's his boy. Do you think he's closeted? Look, okay, okay, so for for the past couple of years, I've said... Not that there's anything wrong with it. No, of course not. And, exactly. and I've said, and I've said that too. too. Like, and <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> on the real, though, on the real, being serious for two seconds, I've said there's only two things. He's either been just crushed by a woman, and now he's like an... Inv I wouldn't say involuntary, because he's a... He's a good, he's got nice pink lips. He's cute. He's cute-ass <laughs> nigga, man. He, <laughs> nice he, little he pink bad. lips. He got, he, he's got pink lips that the girls kind of like, you know, they're like, oh, look at Pink lips? He's got he's got some pink. There's some white dudes that have these unusually pink lips that women would be jealous of. I don't that know. That they would put like the, the lip gloss on and shit. They just have like 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 Jared Fogel. Jared Fogel has pink ass Go look up a picture of Jared Fogel and you dear, can't tell me. Dear women, have you ever thought, man, those are some hot, sexy, pussy dripping pink lips? I, on Jared have you Fogel. ever thought that about any man? I want to know. It's your pink lips and your big hands that drove me to see you tonight, Paul <laughs> Joseph Watson. Yes, Joseph Joseph Watson. Oh. I love the pink, almost strawberry colored of your lips. <laughs> they look rather delectable. Strawberries are red. <laughs> but like strawberry flavored things are pink. I guess, yeah. Yeah, typically. That's fair. Yeah, typically. Your strawberry Your pectobismal lips. lips. <laughs> I love them oh so much. Please, take your hands to my body and crush me. It's the best one, man. 
Strawberry. It bothered me because I saw it, it looked pink, and I thought that it was like, I thought that this was maybe candy, uh, what, what is it? Uh, cotton candy? Cotton candy flavor, oh, and fuck. I was like, no. what the oh, fuck? Never drink Who cotton drinks candy? cotton candy? The people that drink the fucking cotton candy, what is it called again? Uh, boost, up, zoom, uh, some sort of added bang, there you go. The pink cotton candy bang, you're a fucking demon. I tried that shit, and it tastes disgusting. Yeah, if you drink that shit, you're fucking stupid, and wrong, and dumb. I, I agree. <laughs> Fucking dickhead. I have no I have no qualms with that. So this nigga Ian Miles Chung's bread and butter is to call SWAT officials, people that take care of bomb threats on civilians. <laughs> this is his that's his bread that's his go-to. He wakes up in the morning, he's like, you know what I'm gonna do? This guy said my picture looks dumb. I'm gonna have SWAT officials come and shoot his dad in front of him. <laughs> It's not even like a last resort. It's the it's first like, move, bro. It's the first. It's like I got cut off. Better call the Gestapo. <laughs> <laughs> That's just imagine if you get him really angry. Imagine if he sat in his anger for a little bit. We're done, guys. Yeah, yeah we're done. Yeah, he'll blow the planet up. This <laughs> is where we live. <laughs> he'll just sit in the studio and be like, "That's what it is." What's bigger than what I've done before? Oh my god! I can do bigger. <laughs> What if I SWAT him? The SWAT team! What if I, what if I get the president SWAT him now? Like it's like, what can't I do? He calls two separate SWAT teams at the same time. Call each other? And have them on the Can you imagine? <laughs> Just the chaos, all some fucking oh. Ocean's 13 type of shit. Just making people destroy each other. That's wild. It's, like, it's too hot. We, we should have him on a podcast, dog. That'd no. be great. That'd be well, great. Actually, he can tell us about his tactics. <laughs> yes. <laughs> oh, so basically, the first thing I do when I wake up in the morning, instead of brushing my teeth, I'm like, "Who should I SWAT today?" And then, and then I figure out which police department should I call? Should, I, should I should I get the direct line to the SWAT, or should I escalate it? Should I should I start with, with there's the a operator? Bomb, there's first? a bomb threat. Oh my God! Someone's being held hostage. You know, I like to lie about stuff, so they come in really angry, right? And then I never tell them to have a dog. I never tell them so the dogs always die. <laughs> <laughs> What if he just has really intense? <laughs> what if he has just intense contempt for dogs? So he just like yeah, uh, like one. Like he was him. a baby one. He was a baby one day, and a chihuahua came and was like really curious. And you he know? just bit his head and chewed a little bit. Just a little bit, took a little chunk. <laughs> just like, just like, but just like a one, little, a little one bit. little like. No, squeeze. what happens is the dog is, pushes that part of his brain that allows a person to understand you shouldn't be swatting people all the time. Yeah, that it part damages it. That part of his brain. So he got, then he's like, I fucking hate dogs and people that own dogs. I fucking hate them too. He got he got squished and then he had the immediate urge to swat. He's like, as a dog, as a kid, this is his first word. <laughs> swat. <laughs> Swat. What's, what's, the, what's, the, what's the wait? What's the tweet? What's, what's the tweet? <laughs> I want to meet him so bad, bro. No, you, why? Because I want to see what kind. Of, I want to look in the eyes of a person that can do so that. Like, have any so there's like remorse. a SWAT truck just comes from behind and then shoots you in the face. Did <laughs> you bro, imagine in person? Yo, I think <laughs> right there. He opens there. his trench coat and a SWAT <laughs> fucking truck. <laughs> <laughs> he'd, he'd be a formidable person, dude. Like he's like uh, he's like Gerard Butler in uh, fucking Law Abiding Citizen. Oh my God. <laughs> he's like he's that savvy. He's with. like he's like in prison and he's like killing people from in prison and everybody's like, how is he fucking How's doing? He doing it? It's like, oh, it's just the cops. He's calling the cops. <laughs> he's somehow calling the SWAT team while he's in prison. Y'all need to figure out how he's doing that. I probably, and I've thought about this, I was like, I probably, there's some people that probably, even though they're hilarious to like follow, to laugh at, it's just not good optics to have this person, I'm following this individual. Right. And, but I'm like, I'm, I follow because it's funny. You understand that these people are I mean, I follow, I follow OJ. And like it's for the same purpose. Like, it's literally for the same purpose. I follow OJ because it's hilarious to see his takes. And it's like all you can think of is like this guy I murdered two people. Dude, I just <laughs> I just love that I can't I okay as Oh no, there it goes. You would have been one of the jurors that would have got him off, huh? Ah, you fucking you dirty he, nigga. No, he what he did was wrong and like at the time as much as as much <laughs> As much you gotta, you guys gotta see the whole picture. Bro, right? he almost no decapitated someone. No dude. one is listening to me right now. Everyone is just like, "Oh, oh, did the son wrong?" I obviously did something fucking wrong. All right, what he did was terrible. All right, and he should have went to jail for it. But to be told. where's the but? There's no but, right? There's no and but. And what are you no saying? You saying There's no bitch? but. but. <laughs> Like, oh, is that in the way? I don't know. <laughs> I just Jesus, Don't hit Christ. it like that. Jeez, bro, he's already dying. 
Yeah, yeah. you're right. It is a black balloon. I shouldn't hit it. Jesus down. Christ. Yeah, <laughs> calm the fuck down. <laughs> He's very possible. What if someone walked from back, back there? No, he didn't know. Like, it was a random person. A random up. person. Hey, man. I'm like, how'd, how'd you get in here? Would you tackle him or what would you do? I just be like, hey, you really should just get out like, in like, the middle of something. <laughs> I'm like, how'd you get in here? I'm not going to ask what you took because, like, everything I care about is bigger than anything that you could fit in your pockets, but just, like, get out. It's just so wild that like, any, so anybody could consider, like, that. Anybody could consider that, like, what happened to Janet Jackson, like, justified, but, like, consider what's happening now, peak degeneracy. Especially, especially when these people are always the people. Yes. Like fucking Ian. Who are just in people's DMs and in pe- on like sex workers Twitter accounts liking like OnlyFans content basically. Yeah. It'd be the and kind of like, guys that go and get put in those fucking latex suits and like have nowhere, like have they only thing you do is breathe and they're like you sell those like, fucking skin tight and someone's like tickling their oh, balls. Oh that have you I, seen those before? I've seen one on a, your mom's house podcast. Guy was in a red one yes. and then had it was vacuumed out and then he was being tickled. Maybe we yes. saw the same thing. Bro. I was like, what the fuck? <laughs> it's the they give you, all, they shit, give you a tube so you can breathe through, right? And they vacuum out all the air in a bag. <laughs> so you have sensory <laughs> deprivation and somebody's just fucking tickling your dick and your balls. <laughs> and it's fucking it's wild. So fucking it looks, dude, it looks, it looks insane. <laughs> so stupid. But that's probably a time that you will never forget. I just couldn't do it. I don't think I could do it because I think I'd freak out because if I lose all my senses, I instantly go into like Dude, animal mode. If I can't move, I'm fucked. <laughs> You're just a lead singer of an emo band who was born in a black body. Nah, dude. I just, I just really. <laughs> I want to die. Nah, look, My main goal is to die no, and perish dude. from this sickly earth. I don't think the world's sickly. I just want to know what the fuck happens next, bro. The world is like, definitely sickly. Like, <laughs> that's I don't, that was that was the factual part. Like, of like, like I'm not like I'm not like whoa. Yeah, I fucking hate my life. I don't hate my life. My life is kind of. I'm sorry. It could be worse, but it could be better. He lifts up his foot and it says Seosin on the bottom. Can you imagine? But you know, like I just want to know what happens not next, bro. Alone. Whatever. Because that's there the only part of the video game you can't see, you know? I know. I'd be more curious about You can make it out. Can you stop singing? You will live to tell. Was that Blink 182? No, that appears sure like Sales in. So this is he knows, trust me. I know like one of their songs. I only know one of them too. Uh, it's Seven years or called, something. Uh, You're not alone. It's a not don't kill yourself song. <laughs> so it's a don't kill yourself. <laughs> yeah, like uh, Every every emo band made one for a while. Uh, uh, Blink One Eight Two made one. What was it called? I didn't have time for shit like that. Uh, uh, don't kill you. <laughs> don't, don't kill, kill don't you. Kill yourself. Don't it's kill. not real funny. <laughs> <laughs> Your parents will fucking scream and cry. You'll be gone forever, so don't do it. <laughs> <laughs> You'll be gone forever, so don't, don't do it. Yeah. That's such a fucking... That's the most basic advice you could possibly They're like, it's very simple advice. Gorge, Mickey. Are you ready? You have the like tightest like... butthole, you look. Oh, <laughs> you. Am I holding this right? Is this how... Is this how Sora holds Wait, wait. Let me, let, me see, let me see if I can do a Donald Duck voice. It's been a little while. Like Gorge, I love how you slob on my knob like corn on the cob, Donald. <laughs> I have a oh. headache. I have a headache. Donald, Goofy, we're approaching the LZ. <laughs> Keith, David, please come on our podcast. Oh, dude, we should oh, yeah, we should mention we should, we should do a real one. Yeah. What? Yeah, we should. No, I was gonna say like I'm gonna cut this out and post it on Twitter and be like. We gotta get Keith David, and then he'll retweet, and then he'll be like, hmm, what is this? He'll show us in our dreams. I see you've called me. That'd be amazing. What is it you need? We can do it, man. He shows up at spawn in one of our windows. Oh, my, dude, that got me a little blood in my dick. A little blood <laughs> in my dick. The thing is, oh, lightning strike. the thing is, when we get Keith David, that'll be the last episode. Yeah, that's Oh, the shit, that's one. right. That's we, we can go into doing something different, but it can no we'll, longer be the we'll start just, thing. We'll start a new podcast. Something else. It was called something else. We'll start a new podcast. It'll be completely different. Yeah, I like it. Keith David, we're the Snark Tank crew and I are huge fans of your huge work. Huge fan. We love you. Uh, Spawn, uh, Admiral Anderson. Kingdom Hearts. Arbiter. Arbiter, of uh, course. You were in Kingdom Hearts, but I love you regardless. You are you are uh, you are a monolith of a human being to me, and we would love to have you on the podcast. So please, please, Mr. David. Please, just come our way. I know you have a comedic bone. I know you're pretty funny, too. I love you because you weren't in Kingdom Hearts. I love you because you made Halo better than whatever it could have been. Because everybody loves, you know, Chief. He's great, but I mean... I'm a little horny. Oh, my God. 
All right, now let's do one for um. Let's do one for um. Twitter. <laughs> no, uh, um. Who? Ice T. Yes. I got news for you. You're allowed to be on our podcast if you are Ice T. You are more than welcome to swing by the Snark Tank podcast. Yes. I know you know we exist. Yes. So pull on up, man. We can we can make no, some music. No, I would appreciate it. We we would really appreciate it if you were on your Ice T, man. Exactly. Huge fan of yours, man. Love body count. Love that you know you know all about the underground scene of everything, man. It's exactly, crazy, dude. I would love to talk to a hip hop OG like you in person. It'd be fantastic. Yeah. Uh, Chris is Chris is here too. He he. Yeah, this guy. He, don't worry about me. He loves video games. Look at him. His, don't uh, worry about me. I'm his, a, his I, cool. I love Final Fantasy, so I got me my little keyblade. That's yeah. from Kingdom Hearts. Love Final Fantasy. Shut but up. Thank you, thank you, Mr. T. Wish you the best. Hopefully on our podcast soon. I got news for you. I got news for you. I'm gay. <laughs> <laughs>